So this is our carbide lamp I've got. Uh, I'll just put my cigarette light up there out of the way for now. So the idea of this is you have your calcium carbide in the bottom. You fill the top with water, open your valve, and it makes acetylene. So I've got a lot of some carbide from India. I'll fill it with water. Plenty in there. Let's start out the way. Chop it later on. And then, the idea is, once we start opening the valve up and getting drips underneath, oh dear, well, something's certainly happening because it's spurt water at the top. And then you can see, oh dear, and you burnt your skin off there. If I open the valve up, you can see the light that that gives. So it's a nice, warm, Friendly light. I've had this going now for um, ooh, 20 odd minutes or something just while I've been making the rest of the video and things. Uh, I'm doing a few photographs of the different lights and stuff. So I thought I would just show you now. Now this is warmed up, it's stuck in a while. I've got the floor just about right. So we're making a nice amount of carbide now. Uh, a nice amount of acetylene, sorry. So you can see, I'll turn my torches off. Can you see the beam? It's coming from this. I do hope the camera picks this up alright, but I don't fall over. It's like a proper torch, it's like a decent, decent light. So I'm actually very impressed. It's, uh, it's actually really good. So I think what I might do, I might unclip the camera and we'll go for a bit of a walk with this. So I don't know how well this is going to work. But you can see this is purely lit by. Well, once we move out of the way, the other two lamps, sorry. Purely lit by the carbide. So you can see how nice the light is that it's producing. It's really warm, very yellow. It has left a bit of a strange smell down here. So this, I'm not sure what this is. It's just like a metal rotting something or other on the side. You can see it's, it's quite stable now. Now it's warmed up. So I can shake it round. And you can see the flame there, so the flame is sticking out maybe about three quarters of an inch. It's fairly, fairly stable, I can give it a good shake. And it doesn't seem to be causing it to uh, flicker or anything too much. Let's see, look at this here. It just makes it a bit more interesting, doesn't it, than using the LEDs, your head torch, because normally, like this, formation here. If I use my head torch, I'll stick it on now. It's different, isn't it? It's a bit cold. That's with a, a modern Cree, however. On my miner's hat. And to compare, if I turn my light off. So you can see why cave is like this sort of thing. It's really uh, Enhancing the colours and everything. A real nice light. And we'll continue on now. This is using the Xenon, so I've just fired it up. So it does go a little bit green to start off with, and then the intensity will build and build and build. So until we get to this sort of stage here, where uh, basically it just lights everything, it leaves nothing that you can't see. And I can see right up to the junction at the end. And the colours, to be honest, the colours are good. I like the colours. The, the beam itself though, it seems to be made up of different colours. So I can see there's a lot of purple hues, I can see there's a lot of greens and blues. Right in the centre is just pure white. 
And then it's just the colours of the rainbows, it's moving out from there. Oh dear, look at that. But you can see the intensity, it's just too much. It's, it's too bright. I can see too far down the passage. Which is good, good in some situations and things, but it takes the enjoyment out of it a little bit though, because it leaves nothing that you can't see. It's just, I mean look, I can almost see to the cops at the far end. See all the, no I didn't see them before, stuck down. In fact you can't see them because it's so bright that it's just whitening everything out. You see the timber down there, look. In fact now it really is coming on to its full brightness, so it's been going a few minutes or whatever. So we're back down to where I've left the lamps down the far end with it, so fantastic light. And the battery is genuinely, I've gone all the way around small cloth with this and the thing's been running all the time with a GoPro attached to it and it's, it's gone in excess of two hours. Uh, I don't know why, but the batteries are fantastic for what it is. But when the batteries run out, it just goes off. There's no warning, it doesn't sort of go dim or anything, it's just there and then it isn't there. At least with the other things like the uh, LED lenses, you get a period of where it goes a little dimmer before the thing goes off. And of course, the professional light, if you want to call it that, the one that I've got on me. But I've got my head here. Um, that one runs for about 14 hours or something like that, and then it'll go off. Uh, but it goes on to a low setting, and the low setting, I think, will go on for about 100 hours or something. It's, it's a long time. I've never, never run it out. So once, once again with the Zen on, once I knock it off, you can see the glass gets so hot. That the whole thing starts glowing on the end, which is good. You know, it's uh, impressive, but it does set fire to your bag if the thing accidentally comes on. Now, where does the lead on the torches? Nothing somewhere down here. 